Coming to the end of festival week is a natural break point because the tone of the trip and the tour changed remarkably. That weekend wound up being a, a reflection time, uh, not just a break from our performance schedule, but also that moment when we were able to switch gears. I'm a systems and network engineer by trade, uh, working with uh, data center systems. So my involvement in the performance arts is more of a labor of love than anything. Over time, I've had the wonderful opportunity to be involved with performance art, particularly music. Transitioning into a competition mode was at once strange and familiar to me. In years past, I'd gotten to participate in singing competitions. The competitions I'd been in before had qualifying rounds. So in whatever category you were competing in, you had to qualify at a local level, to a regional level, ultimately getting to the national level. So that level of process of elimination and that level of competitive spirit was something that I, that I was acquainted with, although I had not been with a choral group. Choral music and participating in these kinds of collaborative groups was new territory for me. But I was glad that I at least had the frame of reference of what it is like to do a week of competition, to be intensive in that kind of situation. What is it like having to check into a hotel, uh, be around your competitors, to try to maintain some level of focus, to try to take care of your voice, take care of your health, and all of those things which are required. So at least I had that much context. My prior experience in competitions, though, was in both solo and duet categories, uh, in pop music and in country music. Uh, nothing like choral ensembles, sacred music, and least of all, habaneras. But there was at once a certain aspect of checking in at Torre Vieja was, that was somewhat familiar to me. Um, your arrangements are made because they're expecting you. Uh, you check in, you receive your room, your number, any particular pertinent information. They tell you what is the drill, what are the ropes, uh, meal times or meal tickets, and the like. Moving into competition week, however, being in Torre Vieja at uh, an event that has so much prestige and that has been going on for so long, they really had the drill down. Some of the, my choir mates were used to this, uh, but it was new to me. On Friday in Puy Ridge, when Elaine sat down with us and we had our heart-to-heart -heart talk, he filled us in a little bit on some of the technical aspects of what to expect, uh, what the space would be like, how we have to manage ourselves in the space, the, the sound and acoustic challenges, where the judges will be sitting, floodlights, stage lights, the challenges of being in an outdoor venue. The parts that were familiar to me, or not a big deal to me, kind of accentuated the parts that were not. The team effort aspect, the kinds of uh, collaboration that you have to have in a choral group. I had both the fortune and misfortune of having enough frames of reference to be able to grasp my brain around it, but not necessarily enough to be able to handle it. I have had the opportunity to be a member of a cast before. I have had uh, an opportunity to uh, put on performances in groups before, but the mode and the method and the end result are different enough and one has to keep a lot of respect open to that in so far as it is not just singing which you might encounter in a singing competition but there is a performance aspect it we're not mounting a stage production the focus is actually on the music so that has to be given its due course all of these kinds of thoughts or concerns or realizations is where my head was at that week so launching into the retrospective of competition week, for which there's so much less footage, it sets the context and the stage for both the vlog notes that I kept at the time and what my summation and flashback of competition week will be.